In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the special chest locations on the Dreadnought, the chests that require keys, also some of the other chests that you can get but don't require keys, like the Skyburner's Beacon that you get from killing Cabal, and then also the Agnok Rune, which you can get from killing Taken. So if you follow the path right here, this is going to lead you to the first chest in the whole breach, which requires the key of Ur. To get keys, you need Wormsinger runes. If you have a rune, this is one area that you can insert your Wormsinger rune. So you see here in my inventory, I have one. And I already did this in a previous video for the key of ear, but I am going to show you guys again. So all you do is you just insert it right here. And what first is gonna happen is a hive stalking party is gonna come. And they're gonna more likely be up with the Cabal up in this main area to my right where all the fighting pretty much takes place. You will first need to take them out and then a hive champion will be summoned. It's just going to be a big old ogre so just clear out some enemies. Maybe you got a buddy or two. He's not too tough though if you are lower light level he can take a little while to take down. He's going to spawn out of this ship. And basically what I've gathered is that the Wormsinger runes are just going to grant you a random key. I've gotten the key of Akka the key of ear which I did in that other video and some of you commented on that video and said you got the key of maggots and then I believe somebody else got the key of ring ding writing I don't know how, how to pronounce it or how they want me to so it seems to just be basically random once you kill the hive champion he is then going to drop a different kind of rune a worm feeder rune so just go over to his body you see that little white ball so I have a worm feeder rune now and it's going to give me the task to kill 50 enemies and death will reset your progress. Once you kill 50 enemies, you'll see here in a second, your key will pop up. I got the key of gnashing teeth, a key I have not gotten before. I will again show you guys that location here in a second, but I'm going to go back to the start of the patrol area, just where you spawn in so you guys know where to go exactly. There's a few chests here in the very first area. Now I've already showed you where the key of Ur is, which was right there to your left, right when you spawn in, and also where the Wormsinger rune, where you put it in, or one of the areas you can put it in. If you head to the back of the room here, on the right side, just head in here, this is the chest of Zol. If you continue on down the right side of the room, heading towards the mausoleum, just follow my path right here. This is where the key of ear is, and I've already shown this in another video, but if you have not seen that, I'm going to show you the location again. There's also another Wormsinger rune in here. I have done both. It still spawns an ogre enemy, and that's where I got the key of Akka from that one. Not sure if maybe one, one Wormsinger rune deals with half the keys, and the other Wormsinger rune deals with the other half. I'm not sure. So if you already watched my other video, this is where the key of ear is. You just keep to the left, and there it is right there. Before we leave the whole breach, I'm going to show you where you can put in your Skyburner's Beacon. So the ships on my left, you can put it in two different areas. So here you go, this area right here is a little tiny room. And if you have one, just right there, you can activate your Skyburner's Command Beacon. You can also head into the ship, and there's another control panel on the left side. Right up to your left, I'm going to grab this chest real quick. And you can put your Skyburner's Command Beacon in this one as well. So once you activate your Skybinner's Command Beacon, it's going to work pretty much exactly like the Wormsinger rune. You'll see a little message in your left hand corner here in a second right there, the Cabal Summon Recon Team. The Recon Team is going to spawn out here just where the Hive Recon or Hive Stalking Party spawn right here in the middle. So just work on taking out these bums and then the Cabal are going to summon their own champion. You see him here to the right. What is his name? Valas. Taug. Once you kill Volus Chag, he's going to drop some Skyburners deployment codes. Once you get the Skyburners deployment codes, you need to head to the mausoleum. To get to the mausoleum, once you spawn in on the Dreadnought, you just head straight. Just remember to head straight. Ship's on your left. Just head straight through here, and it's going to lead to the mausoleum. And then once you are in the mausoleum, there will be a ship. If you came in the way I just showed you, there will be a ship to your left. If you're at the very top of the mausoleum, it's on your right. Once you hop in here, the Skyburners, where you're going to deploy the codes, is just right at this back panel. You will then have three phases that you're going to have to complete to get this chest. For the first phase, I've done this twice. The first phase, I have gotten clear out the enemies, which is just kill the enemies. And then you can see here, slug screws collected. So killing Cabal and collecting slug screws is all we had to do goes fairly quickly you're not on a time limit or anything like that so don't feel rushed 
Once you complete this step, you will then enter phase two. Now phase two will be timed, so make sure to pay attention of where your arrow is pointing you to go. I have again done this twice. First time I did it was this clip you're seeing right now, we had to upload data. Another time I did it, we had to scan an object. So it's gonna give you a different task. You see here, we made it with 30 seconds. It's, it's not gonna be too much pressure time-wise, but just make sure you're paying attention of where to go. And then you will get a phase three, which is going to be taking down a high-ranking Cabal leader. This again is timed, and it makes us go super deep to kill this guy. So make sure you're paying attention where your arrow is pointing so you have enough time to kill the enemy. Now this took us all the way to the founts, and again, I wasn't really paying attention. My teammate, one of them, was already running and said, dude, we gotta go super deep, let's go, hurry up. Our other teammate was going for an engram across the room. So just make sure that you're aware of the time, and then once you enter the founts or the area where you need to contact and kill the leader, the time will go away, which you saw up in the left-hand corner, and now all we have to do is intercept the target and kill him. Once you kill the target, he is going to drop a Skyburner security pass. You see there, it just popped up. You are then going to have to go back to the original room where you started the Skyburner's codes. It's the ship in the mausoleum. You just hop up here and you're going to head over to the door and you're going to insert the Skyburner's security pass. The door is going to open and there will be a chest inside that's going to grant you, like all the other chests with keys, calcified fragment, some worm spore, an engram, and some experience, and then a grimoire card if you haven't opened it already. Now we're going to go back for the key chest. That is where you start when you come into patrol. I'm going to go to the right, which is going to lead you to some other chests. Once you enter the new area, which you'll see here in a second, once you enter the Hall of Souls, if you take your first left, this is going to lead you to the Taken Consumption chest. That is another video I had done, and we got the Taken Consumption chest by having a Titan pop armor of light bubble. A lot of viewers pointed out that for Hunters and Warlocks, that's the Taken Consumption chest back there, you can pop your supers and survive long enough to grab it. And then some other viewers, which I initially thought, oh, and then this is where the key of Aka chest is at, right back by the Taken Consumption chest. Some viewers pointed out that you need to get a relic by killing Wizard, that will spawn over in the Court of Oryx areas around that area, and then it will give you the Relic of Interloper. And you can take that, and then you can just stand over there all day long, and you can open the Taken Consumption Chest. So I'm gonna show you the different areas here. So if you remember the mission where he had to take down the Dreadnought's gun, that is where there will be groups of Taken, there will be some Hive praying, you kill those dudes, and if the Wizard summons and you kill it, a relic will drop in the areas where Cade told you to shoot. That's where the relic's gonna spawn. If she doesn't spawn and the knight spawns, just kill all the enemies, leave the area, and come back. And you know, you just gotta wait a little bit and they will respawn in. You can also move to the other two areas. I think there's two other areas where she will spawn. Just I don't remember that mission, but the mission where you're taking out the gun or the dreadnought's gun, the little spike things there in between there we had to shoot she will spawn after killing the taken waves there's only a few waves and you saw there I just killed her so take out all the enemies make sure you kill all the enemies around the area the stupid acolyte I will not die here you go left hand corner the ritual pulls a relic from the void and it's gonna come in between the two little things just pick it up if I can there we go interloper and it is on time so make sure you remember how to get back to the taking consumption chest. And you're heading back this way. And this is, again, a area I already showed you, taking consumption chest and also the key of Aka. And you guys have plenty of time, so don't feel rushed. Don't be worried about not getting back in time. It gives you quite a bit of time to get back to the taking consumption chest and get what you need to get. I've already gotten it, but you would get a calcified fragment. Same old stuff you get. I did get some more worm spore, though, and a rune. So just continue on, past the key of Akka. The next chest we are going to is the key of Yule. And you will need to bust your ghost out because you need to have the platforms come out. The platforms are invisible at first. The key of Yule is right up there on that left platform. So just head up this way. And just take your time. It's only a few jumps. It's nothing too drastic. Just bust out your ghost. And then the platforms will come out. I have yet to get this key. 
But again, it's just going to be the same rewards. Next chest, if you continue on, we are going to get the chest of gnashing teeth. That's the key I got earlier in the video. And to my left, that's another area where that wizard can spawn to get that interloper relic. Let's help this guy out real quick. He's in here by himself, balling out in Court of Oryx. Just quickly kill this nub. All right, he's dead. The key of gnashing teeth is underneath the platform. It is right here. And this is the first time getting this chest, so that's pretty sweet. We will now be going to the mausoleum for four more chests. If you do not remember how to get there, you just head straight right when you spawn him from the dreadnought. And this is the first chest over here on the right side of the room. Requires the key of ring, ringding, riding. I don't know. If we continue on out of this room where the ringding key's at, there's two chests on far platforms, and you will need to bust your ghost out. The invisible platforms, there's a chest on the right and a chest on the left. The chest on the right requires a key, whereas the chest on the left requires you to get the key of maggots first, and that chest is in the mausoleum as well. I will show you guys that. But this chest over here on the right requires the key of spawn. So the chest over there, you will need to first get the key of maggots. The key of maggots chest is on the left side of the room. If you're looking down the hill, if you're coming up the hill like I am right now, it's on the right side of the room. So just sneak on up in here, and then you have to jump up, and this is where the key of maggots is. Once you open the key of maggots, it's then going to put a little bit of stank on you, and that's going to allow you to open up this other chest on the far left platform that I told you about. Now try to be quick about it. It does. It is on a time. I do not remember how much time it is. I did help a friend with it. I think it was a comfortable amount of time. You, you shouldn't be too stressed getting over there, but you might want to do a practice run or know where the first platform is really at just so you don't feel too rushed your first time doing it. So you're just going to head over this way, like I said, but we're heading to the left platform this time, not the right platform. I'm gonna just going to fast forward here, guys. You get the idea. Use the invisible platforms to jump over here. If I remember correctly, I think it was a minute and 30 seconds. I could be totally wrong, but it's a comfortable amount of time. You guys, you guys shouldn't feel too rushed. Once you jump over here, some enemies will spawn. Don't worry about them. And then grab this Ascent is the Key chest. Now onto the Agonarch rune, which you get from killing the fallen enemies that spawn around the Dreadnought. And you need to charge the rune by killing, you see here, by killing hive who periodically appear on the dreadnought now you need to kill seven of them you cannot just go and farm them with one character i think i had a buddy say that a reddit post was saying that you can switch to your other characters and it still counts towards your one rune and then that will so you could do three in one day i cannot say that that totally works because i didn't try that all i did was wait a day kill an enemy wait the next day kill another enemy wait the next day kill another enemy and did that seven times so you see here i'm killing the enemies and my will complete my seventh one and now you have charged your agonarch rune you need to take your rune to the founts this is from the mausoleum just go to the front left of the room go through that door and continue on down here this is where you're heading for the sunless cell strike kill some enemies there'll be some enemies over here and whatnot nothing too too drastic I would also pop a heavy pack. So to start this up, there's a little hole in the wall over here on the left, and it works just like a Wormsinger rune. You're gonna feed your charged Agonarch rune into this little thing. Then you need to come back out here and step into the void to challenge the Taken. So just pop a heavy pack, like I said. You're gonna step into the circle, and a freaking buttload of Taken. You're gonna have to kill a gripper of these dudes. So if you got a buddy on, have him come help you out. Once you take out a grip of Taken, then you're going to have to step on another thing, and this is going to summon the big boss guy that you got to kill. Summons their Z-Lots. Now, I skipped way ahead in the fight, but a bunch of Taken are going to spawn along with a boss. Once you take out all the Taken and the boss, even if you kill the boss, the Taken do not disappear. So you got to kill all the guys in the room here. It's just fast-forwarding, fast-forwarding this stupid Acolyte Eye. So kill all the enemies. So once you do that... A message is going to pop up in the left hand corner telling you that the Taken are a bunch of pussies and they bounced out because you balled out and killed them all. And the chest is going to appear. And there you go guys. Uh, hopefully this video was helpful and helped you find the chest. You know how to get keys. You need worm singer runes. You get those from killing Hive. The Skyburners. You get that from killing Cabal. The Agnok rune. You get that from killing Taken. Holy moly this is a long video. Hopefully you watched it and it helped you out. Have a good day guys. See ya.